thing that I gotta remember to be on camera. God. Hello, everyone. I'm sorry I've been gone for so long. I feel like I owe you a huge, huge apology. Um, I don't know, maybe not, because it's my own life, so whatever, but I do. I feel like I do. Uh, I have a video filmed. I had a video all ready to go, partially. I mean, not ready to go. It's partially edited, let's be real. And then I suddenly just vanished. So I'm sorry. And this video is to kind of explain why and to tell you what I'm doing now and to update you on my life and my new haircut. And then to tell you what's going to happen with the rest of the channel and my schedule posting videos now. Because you know what, baby? I'm back, baby. Woo! That was cool, right? That was cool. So. I should get right to it. Hi, my name is Nikita, and I'm so, so glad that you're here. Welcome to my channel, where this is what I do. I drink, and I sew things. That was really weird, wasn't it? I drink, and I sew things. No, that was worse. I drink, and I sew things. That was the one. That was the one. Let's talk about the elephant in the room, shall we? I got a haircut and my hair is back to brown now. No more purple, no more blue. I don't even remember what color it was. The last time I was filming was purple. This is a gin and tonic. I always like to tell you what I'm drinking today. And this is a gin and tonic. I said that already. <laughs> I don't think I remember how to do this. How do you talk to yourself, but talk to people and update people about your life, thousands of people about your life that <laughs> this gin is my favorite gin of all time. It's Wild Roots. It's fantastic. It's based out of Bend, Oregon, and it's wonderful. It's very junipery, very piney. A lot of people don't like that, but that's the reason why I like gin. It tastes like a pine tree. It tastes the way that Bend smells in the summer, which is my favorite. Let's talk about my divorce. So two and a half years ago, when I stopped posting videos very suddenly, it's because um, I very suddenly found myself uh, single. So my my husband came out as trans um, after eight years of being together, and we decided um, together that it was in the best interest of our relationship and the best interest of our of our kid that we um that we not stay together okay to be fair the decision was mostly mine well a lot of it was on me but it was it was very mutual and very uh amicable so we actually wrote our parenting plan and divorce decree like together which i feel like it's very rare we're on very good terms we're both very committed to the parenting of tiny squish medium squish ginormous squish we yeah, we, we are still, we're parenting 50-50 and doing pretty well at it, I would say. Tamperin is very, uh, very well-adjusted, very smart, very sweet, and just the most wonderful little baby surrounded by tons of people who love her. So that is all very positive stuff. So two and a half years ago, we split up and then I moved in with my mom and we had to sell the house uh, that we lived in together. So my mom still lived in my you know childhood town. And so I moved in with her with the baby and then found myself in need of a job and uh, health insurance. Let's be real. Health insurance was actually the bigger motivator for me, I think. America, can we do better? Ugh. I ended up going back to teaching and I love it. I love it. I thought that I was burned out on it and I've changed some ways of doing things. I've changed some of my thinking about it. Um, I'm in a a different grade level and a different school, a different district. I'm closer to home. I think there's a lot of different factors. My old district was absolutely wonderful. And I am constantly saying in my old district, you know that in my old district, the way that we did it in my old district, I'm that teacher. <laughs> and I'm so forever indebted and grateful to them. But there's just, I don't know, it's probably me. I think I have been the one who's changed. For sure I changed the last two and a half years. My first year of teaching, honestly, it was just survival mode. My class was a little rough, uh, but just 
I was trying to sell the old house, get divorced, you know, get the baby, sign up for daycare, and like now I have to manage being a single parent and a divorced person and being a teacher again, living with my mother when now I'm 30 and and all all of these things. The first year of teaching, I was definitely throughout complete survival mode. And now I feel like I'm in year three at this school. Uh, at the same grade level, same classroom, and like I'm getting a rep through the school. It's like, you know, I'm the cool, fun teacher. That's kind of been my, my journey with that. Um, I don't know what else to say about that. Um, what else? Bought a house. Bought a house. This right here. That's my house. Entry, please. This is my sewing machine. I'm spanning my assholes. Feel pretty proud of myself. I uh, bought this house on my own because of. The money that we made from selling the house that we owned together but still i i own this house my baby and i live here with our two dogs romeo and we adopted a new dog her name's tater tots she is currently outside because that just absolutely neurotic little thing couldn't leave me alone for two seconds and was just <laughs> we had to kick her out for a hot minute. Mama needs a minute, okay? I also ran a marathon. Woo! Never again. But it was really cool that I was able to like prove that to myself, I guess. Did you know? I'm tough as shit. I don't have to say shit. The most important thing is this channel. Y'all are here. I mean, I've continued to get more subscribers and viewers and the ad revenue and like people commenting and like oh my god you guys like i haven't really been in this brain space to like respond but like wow i am i'm blown away i've got almost 5,000 subscribers now and i haven't posted a video in almost three years like i just i cannot tell you how unbelievably grateful i am to you honestly and to be quite frank the youtube ad, re ad revenue can i talk I talk all day for a living. I'm like performing all day for a living and I can't. <laughs> the YouTube ad revenue has <laughs> saved my bacon a couple of times. Like I have a second job now um, because having a house and a baby in this economy, it's very expensive. <laughs> so I have a second job and you know, times can be tough and times can be tight sometimes. and. Like literally the YouTube brand revenue has, has saved my bacon. So I just, I want to say a sincere and incredible thank you to you because um, you were literally helping me put food on my table and helping me keep the lights on. So I'm going to cry, but thank you. So here's my plan. Old trusty Dusty here and I are going to keep making videos. It's going to be, I think probably every two weeks because like I said, two jobs, got a baby, got a house, got two dogs. It's a lot, but I'm gonna try to do a two week schedule, uh, kind of work it with my parenting plan. And I'm gonna start posting videos again. I have kind of a list of things that I want to do, but if you wanna see something, maybe put a comment down below and then I can add it to my little repertoire and start thinking about that. And I'm really excited. I started this channel because I wanted something for myself. And I mean, now I have a job. I have more than the required amount of jobs. And I have a house and I have lots of responsibilities, but I find myself honestly missing making videos and I miss doing the sewing and I miss doing my Etsy stuff and I, I miss conversing with you guys through comments or or online and I I want to start it up again for fun I almost said a bad word but I do know that some of my students found me on here so I'm like maybe I shouldn't swear too much go to bed do your homework so yeah I think that's all the big that's all the big stuff um here I am and here you are thank you again and I I uh, can't wait to see you in the next video where if you, uh, something about drinking and sewing, I can't remember how I used to end my videos. Where you drink along and sew along with me, oh my goodness. Yeah, so uh, hit that like and subscribe button and then stick around so you can drink along and sew along with me on my next video. Thanks for watching. Two and a half years, ah, she still got it. Still got it.
Goodbye.